Welcome back. It's our final check day of the Southern Trap Line. We just headed into the first sets. And these were original. We've had these set the whole time. And so we'll see what's up here. And then I've got two more new sets I made yesterday uh, just around this corner. We will check as well. So we'll see what we got shaking here and get these traps pulled. It's pretty windy again this morning, so I'll try and stay in the truck as much as possible for the audio. But here's my set where I caught those two coyotes. Nothing there, and then the original one that Dave had set is over there, and there's nothing in that. So I'm going to hop out and go pull both of those sets, and we'll move to the next ones. Here's the next set, and exactly what I was looking for. Got us a catch. Looks like a big old bobcat. Yeah, he's caught real well. He hasn't, hasn't been in there for too long. Looks like a big tom. So that's awesome. I'm gonna go check this other set quick that's just over here. We'll come back and get him dispatched. It's what I was hoping for where I moved all these traps was to, to trying to get into some bobcat spots. So I'm pumped up about that. That's a big cat. And this set, this right here, still looks good. Nothing touched it, so we'll go get that bobcat dispatched, uh, get him loaded up, and then pull both of these sets. I'm just happy that worked out. I wasn't sure, you know, leaving them for one night sometimes can be tough. Better to let the traps work for a couple of days, but worked out this time, so looks like a beautiful cat. So I'll see you guys at the next sets, uh, which is a couple miles up the road. Just rolling up to these next few sets. So I've got two on this side of this finger and one the other side so Let's see if we've got anything working all right I'm not sure exactly where I left off there I just rolled up to these next couple of sets and we caught us a black lab so I'm gonna try and get him out we'll see how friendly he's gonna be I'm sure He's going to try and bite me, but at least he's not a giant one, so I should be able to hold him down. It's going to be exciting. Alright, I got him out um, without getting bit even. He doesn't quite know he's free yet. Come on! Yeet! Yeet! Come on! He still thinks he's stuck. So, But he's free. Got them all out and he'll head back. And he loves to chase our deer, so I don't feel bad for him really for having his toe caught in the trap. He wasn't in there very long, maybe an hour or two. And it's an offset jaw, so. But that'll teach him maybe from coming over here and to stay around his house. So now I'm going to get these two sets pulled and we'll go check uh, the set that I put out on the other side. Now the darn thing's just laying here. He thinks I'm his friend. So let's run around this other side here and go check this other set. Hopefully we got something. I haven't seen anything, but we'll see once we get closer. Well, it doesn't look like we got anything in this one. Just 
definitely a track right there. I don't know what it was. We'll go ahead, get it pulled out, and then move back up the road a couple more miles to our last few sets that are up there. So let's get her yanked out and head that way. Here's this next set ahead. Gonna buy this tree stump. Looks like something definitely stepped right in there. But nothing in the trap. So we'll get her pulled and then we've got one more trap to go check. One last set for the southern trap line of 2020. It's been a, a fun run this week. What did we catch? Four coyotes, three bobcats, a few coons, possum. Yeah, been a bunch of fun. And it would really cap it off if we get another either bobcat or coyote in this set. We'll see what we got. And doesn't look like anything. It's like we got blanked. nothing in it so that's gonna do it for my northern little trapping experience um, like I said got a few coyotes a few bobcats had a ton of fun um, got a couple of deer I'll probably edit up the buck video and throw it on here for you guys it was a pretty cool little hunt uh, with my good buddy Dave came in from Michigan to try and get a bobcat so thanks for watching guys if you haven't already hit that subscribe button uh, again I have more trapping videos coming I'm gonna even get into some water trapping which I've never done um, but some property that I purchased has water on it so stay tuned for that and we'll catch you guys on the next one